and definitely we are back we are back if you're watching thank you so much for watching and my name is ferdinand you are watching flexing philippines flexing philippines we chose that because we want to go ahead and and be able to uh, tell you all of the amazing products from the philippines but you have to flex a little bit so you know you're amazing right and that's what we're doing with the distributors and the guests that we have on the show because their job and I told them it's going to be their job is to empower everybody to be honest, to be real about how to bring Philippine made products in the U.S. market. And today we're talking to Jay and Pai Leno. And I am so um, appreciative of their time because I know they're busy. They're very busy because they just started this business. So now they talked about the the amazingness. Why did they choose uh, doing this this product here? You, you kind of get that. Now you can watch it on YouTube. Now let's talk a little bit about the the challenges and we're calling this one overcoming the heat by swear to international llc all right back to you guys here is jay and pi of swear to international so why don't we talk about that guys yeah let's let's kind of continue on where from the previous time are, are you able to, to bring up the slide again so people don't see our face <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so again yeah this this photo means a lot to us because you know we we didn't know what we were headed to um it, it took us a lot to get to this point to receive. This is in LA, by the way, in in, uh, in, in Compton, actually, um, off of 91. And so we had to had to make the drive up there. Um, you know, we had to to make sure that we we got the uh, inventory on time, and 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 had to make sure we we deliver it to the um, you know to uh, to the the buyers on time. So. Um, yeah. In, in the overall um, <clears throat> the overall question of, of the of the segment um, the challenges that we were, were facing you know uh, we we uh, we know uh, we know that this was a, a great uh, business opportunity and and we knew that we had the uh, it, it had a lot of potential uh, for it to be, be be successful and we also understood that we had the uh, put we have the, the capacity to to uh, to be a, a, a successful in it, we both had good, strong, strong backgrounds. We were both both motivated. Um. Anyways, um, our uh, our our biggest challenges, yeah, um, were were probably uh, you know, having having the having the company in compliance with the um, the regulations in the U.S. Uh, so the, the the products that we in, are initially starting off with is a fish product and so it has its own sets of, of regulations in the u.s and you know we didn't have i didn't have a food background she didn't have a food background so and importing itself has its own set of, of, uh, of uh, complications so we had a lot of of, uh, of learning to do essentially mm -hmm. and you know we we did have the have the motivation because we we're you know we're putting skin in the game you know we want we, we want it to be be motivated and so um so did you want to yeah, want to hear it? yeah. So, sorry so yeah um i'd say like for importing especially here in the us where they are very strict um the yeah. the biggest hurdle was uh, making the products and the manufacturer our kitchen us fda compliant so it took two years to do that um, during COVID, actually. So there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of consultation with our customs broker, a lot of consultation with an FDA expert. And then we had to relay all that information to our kitchen to um, actually apply those regulations and to get certifications. So that's very important uh, with a manufacturer, food manufacturer, especially for seafood. Um, you need all you need those certifications um, in order to export from the Philippines to the U.S. Um, so yeah, that was I think that was our biggest um, challenge starting because we didn't know that we needed those regulations. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, okay, yeah. yeah, let's start our first order, and then oops, oh no, we need these regulations. Yeah. Okay, okay, it should only take like maybe a couple of months. Oh no, it took us two years. Yeah. So yeah. and if I may add, like Jay, he's very patient with reading everything, like from. The US FDA website, reading all the articles um, and like combing through it and communicating it back with our kitchen. I'm not patient in that area. So I think that 
that's where our partnership really works because he, he's really patient with all the leading all the regulations. I, I just have to jump in there and kind of like add on to that because that's what I was trying to tell you. It strikes me as Jay as being the patient one, so to speak, and being <laughs> analytical because I read his background. So that's why when people are doing what they're doing, certain traits that they've occurred, you know, you, you need to have that. You need to have both. Anyway, continue with what you guys are saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say uh, uh, to add to that, I'd, I'd say like, you know, I, uh, we do take our time to and, and due diligence to look things over but at some point you just gotta like you know it's just keep pushing forward and and just just kind of jump to things and, and and see where things land um from from, from there the, the saying is you know you, you 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 do it and then you ask for forgiveness later <laughs> anyways you know we we started off um you know consulting with a a, a broker and then the first thing we said is we said hey hey we want to uh, uh, bring these uh, products over and so we we uh we asked them how, how much does it cost mm -hmm. and so that was a simple question but it just spawned all these other questions you know mm -hmm. okay they're asking okay you need a license to import they need a license to export you need a certificate of origin yeah. you need fda compliance you need the HACCP, food yeah. facility yeah. registration all kinds of things just lined up and then we started you know um you know, acknowledging how much of a, a, a daunting task we had to work with the manufacturers to get them in compliance. Yeah. And if I may add to, I think which is really important to, um, uh, we were really getting into it, doing the due diligence, but it was still up to the food manufacturer if if they were willing to obtain those certifications. In order to obtain those certifications. They have to do so many things that even like lab tests, like the nutri facts on the label, all those need, need to go to a um, a certified um, lab, um, all the ingredients, everything, um, everything that's written on the label needs a backup, um, backup document or evidence, um, even like this expiration date, everything. And you have to translate everything in English because, of course, it's to your you bring it to the US, you know, people need to know what to you means. So. Yeah, we had to do the translations um, and um, with our kitchen, the good thing about it was Ryan was like, go, go, go. He he had that mindset and motivation to say, go, go, go. Yeah, I want to export this to the U.S. Let's do it. He spent millions of pesos just to get certified and be U.S. FDA, FDA compliant. Yeah. And we're very thankful for that. If 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 he decided and realized I was gonna, he's going to spend this much and decided to um not push through with it then we we wouldn't have this um business to start off or we would have to look for another food manufacturer for that reason but yeah everything lined up everything lined up so um now so go ahead go ahead jake finish your thought how many more minutes you have on this segment but i wanted to go talk about you know once we brought all the products here we had to figure out who wants to buy it and then i was going to <laughs> That's and then I was going to, uh, so so once we did get everything here, we we had to, you know, do a, a our a, our our marketing essentially our, our own marketing here in the U.S. and and fortunately, you know, there was a a a, a huge following for this product to begin with. Yeah. We, so it was just a matter of of, of executing. Yeah. yeah. So we were receiving a lot of applicants who wanted to be distributors here in the U.S. resellers, distributors. So um, we, we did narrow it down to one wholesaler to cover the whole Northern California and one another wholesaler to cover Southern California. So our very first shipment was three pallets of the chili garlic oil. We started with the chili garlic oil because the Toyo, was, the compliance was still pending. So yeah, out of the three pallets, one went to SoCal, one, the other one went to NorCal, and then we brought one pallet home. Yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. This was considered our, our 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 trial shipment. It didn't con it didn't contain any fish, so it didn't have that many uh, uh, regulations on it on yeah. importing. Yes. We just wanted to test out the yeah. logistics. Correct. That's and, that and also yeah. we we both we both know. I mean, I'm going to do a shout out because that's where I got my training from, and I'll publicly tell everybody who who you're. Uh, a customs broker. Why don't we just go do a shout out for him mm -hmm. or for the company? So go ahead and do that. Uh, who are they? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the EC for EC for air. EC for air. Yeah. So EC for air kind of essentially, you know, they uh, they Jackie! kind of Jackie. Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, they kind of walked up through the, yeah. the entire process. 
Um, we okay. did a lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of telephone calls, a lot of emails back and forth. Yeah. Um, you know, they told us what will work, what won't. And mm -hmm. one thing that they they always mentioned to us from the get go was, you know, we, we believe you guys are going to be successful. We we can see you guys. Yep. You know, bringing over over containers, you know, and and that will be a problem. And I'm I'm thinking of, you know, all, all this, um, you know, all, all these obstacles that were, you know, we were currently facing at the time, you know, and to have that that reassurance and that guidance mm -hmm. from them really helped. Yeah. Jackie's I, only she, good she, words she, for Jackie. She, she taught helpful. me what she taught me yeah. whatever I know, you know, as far as that. Yeah. And then also Uncle Eddie. And so I'm going to go yeah. ahead and do a shout out to them. I, I'll never forget that. Mm -hmm. That's how I started in yeah. doing what I'm doing because of that. So I just want to go on record. Uh, now it's immortalized Uncle Eddie and uh, Jackie <laughs> that I said that to and you. They're from Pangasinan too. Yeah, they're, they're from Pangasinan too. too. Yeah. But, you know, earlier uh, Pai was saying something about the registration. You see this uh, man, this booklet, it literally becomes that. Like when you when you do that FDA, but you see, I don't want to use that to scare you guys if you want to do mm -hmm. it. It's just that what they've done is they took their time to research it along the way. And that's what you need to do. You cannot let that deter you if you believe in the product. Like our kitchen is amazing. OK, so what I want to do is I want to end the segment by asking you this question. This is the one that I wanted to ask you. See, to me, uh Going back to mindset about one of the founders of our kitchen, you know, you said that to you. You just said that. My my question to both of you guys is when, let's just say, the delivery is late or the FDA is a problem, what pushed you through and and moving forward and taking doing that anyway? Anybody could stop you at that moment, right? I mean, I, maybe I'm sure there was a point where there was no more point of no return. But at the end of the day, what does it help you propel through any of those challenges? Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll admit that at one point we were like, should we just give up? Yeah, there, there, we had a moment, even, even Ryan, like, because he was going back and forth already um, with actually in the Philippines, it's BFAR, Bureau of Fisheries, yes. something, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I forget. But they, they, they're, the, they're the government agency who would be certifying them right. with the hands up, right? And we're just going back and forth. Um, yeah and we're like okay we're almost there we're almost there one month they said one month one month and then after a month okay we still need to do this and so i just just kept pushing back and like me and ryan were like oh my god like is this still worth yeah. it, is it almost, still worth it? Yeah. almost every inspection that they had by before they would come up with new actions yeah my my yeah. comment to the philippine okay. government okay the new philippine yeah. export development plan is in play Please try to make it that much easier and promote this. I know you guys might hate, yeah. uh, hate me, but I'm just telling you that's the key. A lot of people want to bring in products, but you need mm -hmm. to make it easier. Now that you mentioned that, I we based on our experience, we hope that the Philippine government would really step it up and yep. help these local Philippine-based um, food manufacturers or any any even non-food manufacturers really support and help them um, scale up their business. And one way to scale up is to export to the U.S. market. But yep. they're just in the Philippines alone, there's so many regulations yeah. and red tape. Yeah. And yeah. I think I, I, I'll be fair, too, and say I think they're trying to eliminate that. Because like I said, there's a new plan, the Philippine Export Development Plan that hopefully that they continue to make it easy to do that because there's no reason why there shouldn't be any more yeah. products here. So why don't you guys end your comment on this segment and then we'll go into more about our kitchen, the essence of the product. Go ahead and add yeah, that. Uh, let me just add um, to end the segment is, you know, when uh, on our journey with, with, with BFAR and seeing, you know, going through HACCP, and stuff we we do run we do run into other businesses like us in the philippines that are still not struggling but are just trying to overcome the obstacles of you know trying to get their product out of of of, of the country and it, it's, it's essentially you know everyone has a motivation there they just you know they just need the uh you know the mm -hmm. the assurance from the government and you know i try not to get too you know, bogged down on, on, yeah. on everything. Yeah. This phrase that I'm showing you exactly why I, I put it in the beginning, because there's going to be obstacles and and 
the government or your mindset, most importantly, the mindset, really, the government will do whatever, you know, whatever that is. Right. But in the end, it's your mindset. Like Ryan, he had the mindset, just do it, go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. And he did it. And you guys are, are here and you, you overcame the challenges. And I think you asked, you answered that question that I wanted to ask you. So with that being said, why don't we go to the next segment, which I'm excited to talk more about our kitchen and all the other flavors that you have and the essence of it, because I have a question to start that off with. So anyway, let's go ahead and do a quick break. And this is again, one of